Hey guys, we're over in O'Fallon, um, and he's looking at putting in geothermal. So this house has a basement underneath. So you get just to the left of the door, there's a little area with a slab right there. Um, I mean, it's got a crawl space underneath there. So this area right here is one of the areas we're looking at drilling, and he's thinking about uh, redoing the sidewalk so he doesn't care what happens to that. And there's an unfinished basement, again, underneath the door and to the right is an unfinished. And uh, um, the furnace is maybe 10 or 15 feet in the basement beyond that door. Um, so this is option one. You do have a little bit of a hill getting up here. So there's three or four feet rise up here. So another option, so if you go around the corner here, um, he's thinking about taking out that tree right there, the middle big one, not the little one, not the other little one, but this middle big one. And we can get into the house over here into the basement. And um, so I don't know if you could back the rig up, up and drill. There is a sewer line that runs. You see the uh, manhole. So there's a sewer line that runs right along here. Um, and maybe if we can back the rig up just beyond that and drill on this side of it, get rid of this tree, go into the house. So one word of warning, he does have an eight inch foundation wall that's about five or six feet off this wall kind of underneath where these metal plates are. It's right underneath the dirt. You can see a little bit of it sticking up there. And it goes over this way. So this is the crawl space. That's all basement right here. And the furnace is straight back here. So if we did come in this way, you'd have to go through two foundations. The first foundation and then the second foundation. So those are your options for over here.